Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Today, I will give you a brief view of this China Telecom Macau prepaid SIM card. This prepaid SIM card is issued by China Te Telecom Macau, a subsidiary of the China Telecom. Since this SIM card is issued in Macau, you don't need to provide your ID to activate and to use this SIM card. But this SIM card is a bit special. This SIM card has two phone numbers, a Macaulay's number and a mainland Chinese number. You, as I said previously, you don't need to provide anything to use the Macaulay's number. But if you want to use the mainland Chinese no number, you need to provide your ID online to activate the mainland Chinese phone number. Um, this SIM card costs you a hundred Macau dollars. Um, on Taobao, you can find it for 65 RMB, but you need to pay 7 RMB for the delivery charge, and that's 72 RMB in total. Um, as of today's string, it's around 4.7, 4 uh, 14.78 uh, Australian dollars. Um, there are some instructions, however, all the instructions are in simplified Chinese. Here is how do you activate the mainland Chinese number. Um, this one is the coverages of this SIM card. Here is the how do you find the balance and the expiration date of this SIM card. And here is how do you top up this SIM card. For this one is what's the charges when you use SIM card in Macau. Here is what's the charges um, if you use this SIM card in mainland China, including the Big Bay area and other mainland Chinese cities. Here is what's the cost when you use it in Hong Kong. Um, if you don't subscribe to the data packages, it will cost you 0.1 micro dollars per megabyte of the data. Um, here, there's some um, data packages. If you um, pay 98 micro dollars, it will it gets you two gigabyte of data which are valid in Macau and mainland China which is valid for 30 days or you can get 3 gigabytes of data for 10 Macau dollars in Macau which is valid for 72 hours that's 3 days okay and one more thing to mention <coughs> um, when you use these roaming services in mainland China all your data goes through a terminal and it goes back to Macau for processing. So you won't subject to the stringent internet restrictions and censorships in mainland China. You can get unrestricted internet as you do back in Australia. Um, in mainland China, the China Telecom uses CDMA for its 3G network and use FDD LTE for its 4G network. CDMI is quite a, um, a rare mod, um, rare module of the um, 3G, unlike the WCDMI, which is used which is used so widely worldwide. As for your Australian Australian versions and Hong Kongese versions of the iPhone. You can't use the WCDMA network. Uh, as for my iPhone, it's an iPhone 8 from Japan, so I can use it since the Japanese version of iPhone are capable of using both the TD um, LTE network, FDD LTE network, WCDMI network. Okay. First, you need to send a text message 9821888 to purchase these data packages. Okay, um, it's on sale now. Normally, it costs 98 micro dollars. I purchased it yesterday, it was 93 micro dollars. 
Spotify. Let's see. Google, no problem. Facebook, let's see. Uh, just be. Oh my goodness. What the hell is it? Uh, Jesus. God damn it. Well, the China Telecom's network coverage is quite unstable. And, um, well, the China Telecom's um, um, roaming um, data service is quite unstable and the coverage is a bit limited. Its 4G service is coverage is a bit limited. Here in my home in the downtown of a city, um, sometimes your 3G network will just suddenly disappear <laughs> and turns to turns back to the 2G where it's b barely usable. Uh, whoa. Okay, Facebook. No problem. And let's do a speed test. I have done a speed test yesterday night. And I chose the 4G model. It was ultra fast. It's around eight meg eight megabytes per second, and it's quite imp it's quite impressive. But considering the limited uh, data, so please take care when using it. Let's do a speed test. Um, it's China Telecom Macau. China Telecom Macau. Okay. Uh, well, 200 kilobytes per second? Jesus Christ, what a slow connection. Uh, for God's sake. Oh, oh my God. Um, let's use ipx.ic to determine the IP address. Um, as you can see, um, the IP address is in Macau. As I said previously, all the data goes through eternal and it goes back to Macau and you won't subject to the mainland's internet restrictions. Okay, that's all. For more review of the data roaming services in mainland China, please stay tuned and goodbye once again. Merry Christmas.